Hit me one after the other. Give it some. What's... <laughs> What's up GQ? I'm Daniel Ricardo, and these are my 10 essentials. Party shirt. I've always got a party shirt. You gotta be merry, there could be an occasion. They don't have to be as crazy as this one. They come in all shapes, sizes, colors, creations. <laughs> But yeah, I, uh, I certainly do have a collection of party shirts. I'm guilty for that. Personal journal, DR, that is me, Daniel Ricardo. I've been, uh, been traveling with one for about 18 months now. I don't normally have a plan. I'll just pick it up and write. It can be about my, my career, my racing, if, if I'm achieving my goals, um, but it can also just be about just life thoughts. And uh, you know, sometimes you don't always wanna open up to to a certain individual maybe, so it can all be put in here. You can be honest and very true to yourself, so this is uh, how I do it. I'll probably do a book one day when this is all said and done and I can be very, very honest and <laughs> say what I really feel. 80 gigabyte iPod. This is vintage now. It's been with me for, I don't even know, 15 years maybe. I've got playlists on here from yeah, over a decade ago, I think probably when I was just moving to Europe to kind of embark on this uh, this dream, I guess, and uh, of becoming a race car driver. And yeah, this, this thing here holds a lot of musical memories. I kind of don't even want to risk like plugging it in uh, to a laptop. I don't know if it gets like things get wiped. So I just, I charge it and I use whatever's on here, but I'd have at least probably five, 6,000 songs on here. You can't listen to an iPod without headphones. These ones are quite special to me. They're custom from Beats and they're in my helmet design. So it's it's completely custom to myself, Daniel Ricardo. It's got the number three on it. That's my racing number. It's tattooed on me. I'm not superstitious or anything, but it is like my lucky number. I love it. We don't get much privacy before race. So this is my form of privacy. You know, typically I'll go with something with a little bit of bounce to it so I can kind of stay loose and, and ready. If qualifying didn't go well, then I'll put something pretty aggressive on that I just wanna like carve through the field. But then like if I start towards the front and I just wanna remain calm and, and composed, then it'll just be like some, some happy house or like summer festival music. And yeah, it's probably a lot right now with the shirt. It's, there's a lot going on, but hey, you gotta be a little bit fun sometimes. Lalabo, Bay, 19. That could have been an advert. We have events, we're going out, we sweat a lot in the race car. We do carry some pretty awesome odor. So uh, yeah, even like long flights, you just feel a little bit, uh, can kind of feel gross. This can be a savior. I'm quite a Lalabo fan. They do some pretty awesome mixes. Let's test my senses. There's hints of floral, a little bit of lotus in there, some Parmesan. There's definitely some sirloin steak, medium well, some charring, yet some elegant boysenberries. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> a travel pillow. Fun fact, uh, race car drivers, our most important muscle is our neck. We get so many G-forces coming through the helmet, the neck. Not every hotel we sleep in has great pillows. So a travel pillow basically gives me consistency through the year and it basically protects my neck. Or as Wu-Tang once said, protect your neck. <laughs> my thorn supplements. With traveling so much, different continents, locations, air temperature, air pressure, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but we are very susceptible to getting sick. And uh, these are just awesome for boosting immunity. There's been times where I'm like, I'm gonna be sick. Like I know tomorrow I'll wake up sick cause I can just feel my body shutting down. These are my savior. GoPro. Since I was a kid, it was essential for me to carry around the camera. I loved filming things, whether it was like jumping out our BMX bikes, blowing something up or whatever, uh, we would always wanna capture it. Obviously it's easy with your phone, but I, I do like good quality and to have something that's, uh, you know, I can blow up on a big screen and, and obviously holds, holds well. So we travel so much, so there's so many destinations which I just wanna go and see and uh, capture it all on here. What from a distance looks like erotic lingerie, unfortunately it's not. 
It's sadly 2020 and this is a face mask. It's the world we're living in right now. Uh, hopefully it's just for 2020. So this face mask was given to me uh, from a friend in London and uh, it's a Medipop one. They come in all different colors, shapes, sizes, but uh, this, is, uh, this is the most flamboyant one yet. So there's a lot going on. People watching this are gonna be like, man, this guy's really into his patterns and colors. But I also just love a casual black tee, but hey, not today, I guess. It's my race helmet. This is actually like our, our most prized possession as, as a race car driver. The helmet is very personal to us. You know, the design, we're able to do what we want and uh, a lot of drivers are recognized for their helmet. This is mine for 2020. I am nicknamed the Honey Badger. So I've got a little Honey Badger logo on the back so people remember and know who's coming. All right, guys, there you have it. They're my essentials, very personal to me. Hope you could relate. If not, it's all good. See you next time.